Hi guys, Pragyan here. Currently a first year MBBA student at Ames New Delhi, and welcome back to our channel. And welcome back to another episode of Spilling Out Secrets. And today with us we have the one and only uh, Vats Ashish Batra, uh, the guy who secured All India Rank two in NEET this year. Uh, so first of all, Vats, congratulations for your great feat. How are you feeling right now? Thank you so much. I'm feeling amazing. Uh, it's a very big achievement for me, and uh, yeah, I'm really happy. Uh, so, guys, this video is basically a Q and A session in which I'll ask Butz uh, some of the common questions which you guys ask me uh, on my Insta. Uh, so, guys, without wasting any time, let's begin. Uh, and yes, guys, uh, before I begin, uh, we, we also have a fun section towards the end, which is the rapid fire round. Uh, so now let's start with the academic questions. So, what's the first question for you is that? Uh, tell us about your need preparation journey in short. Uh, so I started my preparation in eleventh grade. Uh, studied for a total of two years, and uh, yeah, during the two years I studied consistently, almost five to six hours each day on average. Uh, focused on my concept, practiced a lot of questions, and uh, gave a lot of mock tests. And yeah, that's how I did most of my preparation. Uh, so you were enrolled in a coaching from eleventh itself or ninth or tenth as well? Uh, no, I started in eleventh itself. Okay, nice. Uh, your biggest mis- mistake during your preparation, if there was any? Uh, there were certainly a lot of them. Uh, I gave a lot of importance to the marks that I scored in tests. I think. Uh, when I would score less, then I would get demotivated. But uh, I tried to fix that towards the end. Uh, one more problem that I really did face was that my one mistake was that error analysis such as not done. Many times, the tests were wrong or the concepts were not clear to me, I would leave them in the office. So mm-hmm. towards the end, I fixed that, and I think that really did help in my preparation a lot. Okay, nice. uh so uh, what's now let's talk, let's talk about your subject wise preparation strategy uh, so let's start with physics physics uh physics was my favorite subject uh, i first of all i f- focused on concept jo class mein sikha tha usko same day revise karta tha and also koshish karta tha same day kuch questions bhi practice kar lo taki jo kiya hai wo yaad ho jaye thode bar tak extent tak obviously pura to ho nahi pata tha exam mein but ha uh, and then in in the coming week i would focus more on practice questions finishing the theory from the ncert book and uh, then some solving some of the extra books that i used to refer to like uh, i solved dc pande uh, je version uh, but that on that i did only after i'd already done my coaching material and the ncert textbook so that formed the base of my preparation and especially in 11th i did the reference book because uh they gave a very strong idea of the topic and it was easier to do the even relatively easier questions in the exam and faster also mm, right uh, because wo jo uh, coaching ke jo papers hote hain usme basically they ask high level questions uh, uh, matlab ncert plus level oh. yeah that's true and uh, agar wo ho jate hai to in a, towards the end aasan question bhi jaldi jaldi aur more accurately bhi hone lagta mm, right Uh, so now what's let's talk about your bio preparation strategy okay so in bio i mainly struggle with the part that required more remembering of facts like there's animal morphology uh, wala part jo cockroach and all uh, plant morphology plant anatomy and basically plant anatomy because mere descriptions wagera bhi bahut sare hote the so yaad karne mein difficulty hoti thi and uh, in order to get through that i tried to focus only on the part that i had to study the ncert part and i read it many times over that mainly was my strategy in bio nothing too much that i did different but i just read the ncert several times and uh, taking reference from the coaching material for some extra facts that might be relevant i did the chapters some of the chapters i felt did require some peripheral knowledge also uh, human physiology genetics evolution type ke chapters hote hain तो उनमें मैं एक्स्ट्रा भी पढ़ लेता था कोचिंग मटेरियल से एंड बट बेस हमेशा एन सी आर टी रहता था आई डेट दैट एंड देन आई वुड ऑलवेज कम बैक टू दी एन सी आर टी फॉर लास्ट मिनट रिविजन से बिफोर अ टेस्ट और इवन फॉर एक्शन 
Okay. So basically the books you followed were the coaching material and NCR mainly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And how many times approx did you read Bhav and NCR? That's a good question. I think uh, 15 times at least I did read it. Oh, great. Over the course of years, obviously not uh, again and again at the same time. Ah, right. Uh, so now let's talk about your chemistry strategy. Chemistry. I struggled a lot with chemistry, actually, especially inorganic chemistry. Uh, again, वो याद करने वाला portion इतना ज़्यादा होता था कि हो ही नहीं पाता था. So yeah, for inorganic chemistry, I would say again NCERT, the base. In that, specifically, I did not even go outside then the NCERT even a bit because as it is next to वही part याद करने में दिक्कत होती थी तो और करने का सोचते नहीं कभी भी. And uh, previous year's questions uh, were very important, I would say. For physical chemistry, I did it more like physics only. Uh, concepts at the base, and then question practice. You see, in often conversions, me difficult hoti thi, ya fir calculation jada hoti thi. Jo ki neat me bhi hota hai, wo aise type question aate hain me, ajeebi type ki calculation hoti hai. Uski practice kari thi. Organic chemistry ki jada tak baat hai, I practice uh, reaction mechanisms and general organic chemistry very well. I think that really helped me in the. Rest of organic chemistry, because that constitutes a major part of the syllabus, and uh, yeah, it helped a lot in understanding the reactions also later. Okay, uh, so what were the books you followed in chemistry? Books in chemistry, uh, NCERT mainly, and uh, MS Chauhan. I did uh, question practice only for GOC, nothing else. Okay, nice. And for inorganic, nothing. And physical, nothing. Uh, NCERT, I did inorganic uh, coaching material. Obviously, uh, questions I solved, and previous year questions did play a major part in my chemistry preparation. Okay. So, uh, talking about previous year questions, so how many years uh, questions you solved yeah, of of need? Uh, again, depending on chapter, it varied. Inorganic chemistry, me relatively come the like uh, last ten to fifteen years, yes. बट ऑर्गेनिक और फिजिकल में उससे भी ज्यादा के कर लिए थे डिपेंडिंग ऑन मतलब वो थोड़ा सा था कि रेलेवेंस कहां तक लगती थी तो उसका मैं कर लेता था ओके एंड डिड यू अटेम्प्ट द जेई में पीवाईक्यूज एज वेल अ नो आई डिड नॉट ओके अ सो नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट हाउ मेनी मॉक टेस्ट फुल सिलेबस मॉक टेस्ट यू गेव बिफोर द फाइनल एग्जाम I started giving full syllabus mock tests around uh, January of this year, 2022, and in total, I believe I've given some 60 mock tests in total in the last six months itself. Okay. Yeah, in the last month, around 30. Sorry, not last month. Last two months, around 40 mock tests. Okay, full syllabus. Nice. Uh, any tips for error analysis? Error analysis. Yeah. So, like, I face the problem with silly mistakes. I think most people do. Ah, uh, for that, I would say what really helped me was I had to think, like, actually think really hard about how I was making the silly mistake. Often, silly mistakes हो जाती थी और लगता था कि यार ऐसे कैसे नौ दस silly mistakes हो जा रही हैं. तो उनका generally कोई और reason होता है. वो actually purely silly नहीं होती है. या तो focus कम था, या फिर कहीं पे concept lacking था, या practice नहीं थी. तो कुछ पॉइंट मिस हो गया तो यू हैव टू रियली सिट डाउन एंड थिंक हार्ड अबाउट क्या गलती हो रही है आई थिंक दैट इज द ओनली वे टू फिक्स योर मिस्टेक्स एंड या एरर एनालिसिस इज एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग आई वुड से या सो डिड यू मेक एन एरर नोटबुक और एनीथिंग ऑफ दैट सॉर्ट यस आई डिड एंड इन फैक्ट आई रिवाइज्ड इट मेनी टाइम्स इन द लास्ट वीक बिफोर नीड इट सेल्फ ओके सो यू रोड ऑल दैट सॉरी Uh, so you wrote all the errors of these two years in that notebook. Yes, I did. All the way nice. from the beginning. Nice. Uh, if not MBBS, what you would have pursued? Uh, so now we come to an end for the academic questions. So now comes the fun part of the video, the rapid fire round. So what's are you ready? Yes. Okay. Your most favorite and least favorite subject. Most favorite was physics. Least subject. Least favorite was chemistry. Okay. 
Uh, give one word to describe physics. Physics was, I'd say, in uh, uh, conceptual. Nothing else I can say. Uh, one word for inorganic. Uh, Ratta. <laughs> nice. Uh, something you sacrifice during your preparation. Um, uh, social media, like I said, I had Instagram, but I did sacrifice that. My hobby is also to a great extent, uh, mm. which is actually a major regret of mine. Also, I don't think I should have done that. But yeah. But of course, after the meet, I hope you are pursuing it to the fullest. Your hobbies. Yes, definitely. Uh, your favorite color? Red. Why? I don't know. It's always been like that. Uh, favorite movie and web series? Favorite movie. Favorite web series is The Good Doctor, and uh, favorite movie. Uh, any Avengers movie, I would say. Okay, you are an Avenger fan. Yeah, I like this a lot. Nice. Uh, your actress crush. I don't know. There are too many. Just, just name anyone. Uh, can I skip this one? <laughs> no, no, no. You have to answer. Okay. Um. Uh, Emma Watson. Okay, nice. Your inspiration. My elder brother. Great. Your favorite food. Pizza. Okay, so the next question is complete the names of these chapters according to NCERT. So are you ready? Because now we recently syllabus complete. Kiya. So I hope Kari will complete all the chapter names. Maybe I don't know. So with this, we come to an end to this rapid fire round, and we come to an end to this video as well. Uh, so I hope all of you guys got to learn a lot from Bhats himself, and I hope Bhats you enjoyed this video as well. You enjoyed this interview. Yeah. And really and Bhats, thank you for your precious time. And uh, that's it for for the today's video. Uh, signing off. Bye bye.